we have a call-in guest and they are called the free store and here they are right now it's called the free store i found them on facebook and i wanted to know a little bit more about them because i heard a really neat story about them so this is sure. this <laughs> i guess you do this this is <laughs> jeff and angel you're on the air how you doing Hi, this is Sharon from the Long Beach Restore. Hi, hey, how Sharon. Did you say Restore? The Free Store. Oh, free free store. store. Okay, because Restore is what uh, Habitat for Humanity has when they can't get all their stuff in the house. Yeah, when I was telling Jeff about you guys last night, he was like, oh, yeah, I've heard about the Restore. And I was like, wait, what? And so we, it, both of us are confused as to what you are. But first off, I want to start off with saying that I found you on Facebook and um thank you for coming on by the yeah, way yeah thanks for calling in I, I uh, thanks for having me um i wanted to find out about the story that you guys posted about this lady who stood outside the store just staring in like really confused well a lot of people are really confused when they walk past the store yeah because you know what free is a code word for you know I'll get you some way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first, well, first of all, go ahead and tell us, tell everyone what the free store is. Um, we are a project of the Catalyst Network of Communities, and Catalyst is a, a nonprofit social impact organization that brings people together around shared interests to make a positive effect in their community. And mm -hmm. um, I started um, hosting some swap parties and free community exchange events, kind of like a traditional clothing swap. Uh -huh. And uh, I found Catalyst Community Space and asked them if I could host one in their space. And this was three years ago. And they said, why don't you host one every month? So I started the 710 swap for Catalyst. We're going on our third year now. It is the third Friday of every month, and it's a potluck and a free community exchange, kind of like a rummage sale, but with no money. Really? And, um, yeah, and we've been doing that for three years. It's like a barter but system, we, huh? We always had leftover stuff, always. Mm -hmm. And that led us to opening the free store. Mm -hmm. So... The free store is full of donations from the community. People come in and donate items that are in good condition that they don't use anymore. And then other people can come and take them, and it's free. <laughs> wow, that's neat. But do people, I mean, there has to be a limit, though, because unfortunately, anytime you do something good, you have that, that one person that takes advantage. You know, it comes in and wants to do, wants to take everything. We have run into that. Um, because of all of people's questions and potential problems, we set up a system where we require membership. Membership is free, but people have to receive an orientation from us. And we go through our background, our mission, and the rules. And um, after that is done, it just takes a few minutes, then um, people sign up their information, and they are always welcome to shop the free store. So it's sort of a way of making them accountable. Yeah, well, also to make them really participate. This isn't a service. This is a conversation about sharing in the community, and sharing is reciprocal. Um, we feel like everybody has something to share, and everyone can benefit from things that others have to share. Right. That's so we don't... We don't have income requirements. We don't have any kind of uh, traditional mechanisms in place that like social service organizations or charities might have because that's not what we are. Right. We're here for the community sh to share with everyone. That's kind of that's really cool. How many members do you have right now? Um, right now, we've given over 60 orientations. I don't have the figure in front of me, but um, but we, we have a lot more people walk in than we've actually had the opportunity to give the orientations to, um, because sometimes they catch us at a time where, where they, they don't have the time to come in. And some people, um, they, you know, they... They, they still don't understand, even though we try to explain it to them. So I, I think that they think we're trying to 
sell them something with the orientation. And we are trying to sell them something, but we're trying to sell them our ideals. That's what we're really there for. It's so funny that in this day and age that, you know, we're so cynical that there's just, it just seems, um, it just seems un unreal. It does, but you know, there is a large and growing sharing economy, um, both in the U.S. and all over the world. And, um, you know, with all of the economic problems, people have um, looked towards non-traditional ways to fill their needs. And sharing is a great way to do that. Right. You know, what? Uh, I do remember hearing a story in Brazil when their economy completely collapsed and uh, people were going hungry, and uh, they came up with a, a barter market, and there was no money exchanged. It was simply bartering, you know, and people yeah. were bartering for food even, and with, with clothing or things that they made. It was, I, that was the first time I'd ever heard of anything like that, and I thought, that's really unique, a people, a community of people coming together, figuring out a way to survive. Oh, yeah. People have been doing it forever. Um but it's nice that the sharing economy is growing and people are starting to formalize or come together in tighter groups to kind of systematically push it forward uh, because everybody can benefit from it. Right, right. And so if, if people want to find out more about, about this, do you guys have a website or a, where can they go to find out more? Yeah, we have a website. It's lbfreestore.com. And um, also our um, our sponsor, Catalyst, um, that, that's another great place to find out about um, the groups that we're connected to. We're not the only sharing group. Um, there, there are movements of groups that are sharing and uh, building community, and you can find out more about those at gocatalyst.org. Your mic's not coming through for some reason now. Couldn't sit in that one. No, your mic's for some reason disconnected. Go to sit in mic two. Sorry, his mic just, he did something to it. <laughs> um, okay, so what is that website again? GoCatalyst.com? Dot. Yeah, gocatalyst.org. Dot org. O -R -G. Yeah. And, and then the free, the free store's website is lbfreestore.com. LB standing for Long Beach, right? Yes. Okay, and what hours are, or if someone wants to donate, how would they, or just give stuff away? Because, I mean, who doesn't have stuff in their, in their closet or piece of furniture that they never use anymore? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, right now, we're open on Thursday, so that would be today, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., and on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's our regular schedule. We sometimes have bonus days that we're open, and we post that on the website and on our Facebook page when we do that. Um, we are hoping to be open a lot more days, but we need to put together volunteer teams who can run the store on those days. So the people who run the store are volunteers? Yeah, everyone working with the free store is a volunteer. We work for free, too. <laughs> yeah, his, his mic's not coming through for some reason. All right. Go ahead. Did you have a question? Okay. All right. He's throwing a little tantrum over there, but it's okay. <laughs> All right. So what, what type of items are you guys carrying? Uh, we have a lot of clothing and accessories. We have a lot of household items, uh, books, toys, um, you know, DVDs, games, uh, basically the type of things that you might find at a yard sale or a thrift store. Um, but sometimes we get some really exceptional donations, too. Uh, we've gotten musical instruments, computer printers. Wow. We've gotten a Mac computer. 
sometimes people are very generous. Furniture. Um, you... That's that's not the type of item you'll find every day, but right, it's right. certainly possible. Wow, that's super cool. Um, yeah. I was going to ask, what um, do you get requests for certain things, or people? What are they generally generally mostly looking for? Um, people are usually so surprised that they have the opportunity to get anything for free right. that it just takes them a while to kind of look around and, and digest the idea. Um, when we do get requests, it's greatly varied, but we don't so request because we don't have that ability. We're not a regular retail store, so we don't have that level of customer service that, you know, we're not there just to serve people. We're there to have a sharing experience with people. Right, right. Um, so, you're, yeah, you're not a regular retail store that has fully staffed uh, people. So, yeah, I could exactly. see. Exactly. So people just yeah. have to come in and, and try and get something. Um, what... Do you have a lot of kids' clothes? Do you get a lot of that? We get a lot of children's items and clothing and toys. Um, we get all oh, clothing is our largest donation. That's what people bring in the most um, for all ages and sizes. So someone, um, who, so someone who has a bunch of stuff they want to get rid of and don't necessarily want to go through the hassle of having a yard sale, you would be a good resource, right? Definitely, but everyone who either donates to the free store or shops, it has to be a member. They have to take our orientation first. Oh, I see. And orientation is free. It just lets them know what types of things we accept and how the system works. Got it. Got it. And you said orientation lasts about how long? About 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Sharon, um, for those people tuning in again, tell them... Uh, the name of your store we, and how to find you. Sure. Uh, the Long Beach Tree store, store, we're located at 340 East 3rd Street in downtown Long Beach. We're on 3rd Street between Elm and Long Beach Boulevard in the Art Exchange building. We're open on Thursdays from 4 to 9 and Saturdays from 11 to 3. Our website is lbfreestore.com. All right, people, you heard it, LB, as in Long Beach, free. That's right, free store. <laughs> <laughs> no, all the mics are cut out. Mm. All right, well, Sharon, thanks for uh, thanks for calling in and sharing in. We're going to go ahead and uh, put this show on the archives page, and we'll go ahead and put a link to your web website. Awesome, thank you so much. You know, Sharon, Jeff did have a question, though. He wanted to know how you guys are – well, are paying the rent for your space. Um, we are a project of the Catalyst Network of Communities, and Catalyst helps us pay the rent. Um, we also have a supporting membership where, with a donation of at least $20, um, someone can get supporting member status for a year. And we sometimes have special shopping days or events for supporting members. Um, and we are working on other fundraising campaigns. There is a donate button on our website. Um, it is definitely a community endeavor. It's something that the community does have to support in order for us to be able to go on. All right. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you for calling in and sharing what you do with, with our listeners. Um, we'll make sure to help spread the word. I think it's a great thing you guys are doing out there. Thanks so much. Thanks for, thanks for calling in. Bye-bye.